Hello, Cancers. Welcome back. This is Mady. Hope you hope you are doing good. Remember, Cancer, I'm reading for you, but I could put them in a cross watcher, a third party. I don't know why my cards are doing this. this. Uh, a cross watcher, a third party. So you could flip the rules. Let's just see. I'm feeling very sick. I've been sick since yesterday, so let's just see what's coming out of here. Spirit, what does um, Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to know? Minera. What else? So there's depression here. There's something that's going to be revealed to somebody here recording. There's somebody that's going to reveal something here. Or somebody's trying to like... um express something but i feel like somebody's recording somebody here or might have recorded a conversation or even you know an audio whatever it is there is betrayal there there is betrayal here i'm not even know okay yeah i'm showing it to the camera there is a backstabber here you have a traitor here let's see so you have the seed here a traitor not to be trusted here. Let's see what else here for cancer. Somebody's recording or um, has your audios or just looking at your stuff and like uh, probably like screen rec uh, a screenshotting it or something here. Um, and they might reveal something on you or is you that you want to reveal something on somebody. But it's like very well hidden. And I feel like it's a house. I don't know why I'm seeing a house that's very dirty. And I don't even want to say that, but this house is very dirty or has a lot of clutter. A lot of things like thrown everywhere. But somebody here is going through major depression. That's probably why they're doing it. God only knows. Let's see. What's here for cancer? Or somebody's depressed here because they know somebody did something here. Let me see. What else is here for cancer? Veneta. Karmic relationship. Yeah, so it might be somebody here. That you were dealing with or that um, you're dealing with that's doing some shit like this. Somebody here um, is causing triggers here. Girl with a snake. Yeah, so it's like somebody here is like a charmer. They like to use people here. Something here, you know, you got to let go of something here. Or somebody got to let go of something here. You got grounding, stability, security, performance, growth, and endurance. So you need to ground yourself or um, do something here to ground yourself, you know, for your stability and your security. It doesn't only mean go out in the grass and ground yourself. It just means ground yourself and letting go of a lot of turmoil and people around you that, you know, they're just causing a lot of triggers here. You might have a person that causes triggers here or the person that likes to argue or fight or whatever it is for you. It just might be a lot of people here involved. You got to enable boundaries here, whether it's your family, your friends, your person, you know, a, a, a one person. I don't know, but there's something here that you need to get rid of here, Cancers. And there's a lot of intensity in letting go here with somebody here. Let me see. What is it for my Cancers? Mineira. What else? Yeah, you're working on somebody, but some, on something, but somebody's looking at you. Yeah, the sun card is here. So I feel like, you know, you're looking for your happiness. You're trying to, you know, keep on going to find your happiness. I feel like you're working on something here, but this is also my spy card. So somebody is spying on you here with recording. Somebody's looking at you, trying to see what you're doing or, you know, if you're with somebody or whatever it is. Because somebody's severely uh, sad here. You might have moved on from somebody here and just doing yourself. But this could also be illumination with the sun card that something's going to come out to the light that you need to know here. Five could be significant. Save your money here. Because there's something here that's letting me know that you're trying to save money. But every time you save money, it's like it just goes to waste. You know, there's something here that's going to come out to the light here. Let me see. You got Leo and um, Virgo energy there. Yeah, the page of wands here. So this might be a person that you were committed to or a person you had something going on with. 
I feel like this person or you had two choices to make here. And I feel like, um, I don't know, but they're watching the man. I don't know. Yeah, it's like there's a lot of burdens here. So you might be going through a lot of burdens here. And that might just mean the, the depression card coming out. Because spirit pulls these cards out. That might mean the depression you're going through. You're going through a lot of things right now. It could involve your happiness as well. It could be, you know, something that is involving your happiness here. People that work with old patterns. People that don't stop the bullshit, you know. It doesn't have to only mean a person here that you're dealing with. Let me see what else here for cancer. Yeah, it's like you're tired. You've been backstabbed too much. You're overburdened here. You're putting something to an end here. It could be a relationship. Morningstar, you don't do that. It could be a relationship here. It could be anything here. But I feel like you're putting something to an end here. You know, I feel like you feel betrayed. The betrayal card came out. Yes, you've been betrayed here many times. And it's about, I feel like you're going to say something or announce something here to somebody here. Or say something that you feel to somebody here. And it's going to be over with. Or it was over with. Let me see what else here. For cancer. That's Gemini energy. And you got Sagittarius there too. Hmm. You're going through a lot here. For some of you cancers, you're going through a lot here. It's like you can't take it anymore. It's like you just want out. You just want your happiness. And every time you try to make yourself happy, it's like somebody comes fuck it up. I feel like there's somebody here that you do really care about or they care about you, which at some point in time made you very happy. And I feel like they might have fucked up whatever the case was or you fucked up, whatever the case was. But it got to a level of being very toxic is what I'm going to say here. Very toxic. Let me see what else here. For cancer. That wanted to come out. Walking away the Eight of Cups. Let me see what else here. Minera. the will of fortune so this is you know moving forward here follow your intuition don't ignore your intuition if your intuition is telling you something about someone anything anywhere follow your intuition because you know there's something letting me know here that there's something destined for you there's something you want to move on to but there's somebody here that's stopping it there's somebody here that doesn't let you move forward. And it could be anyone. If, it, if this is not for you, it's not for you, okay? Just take it how it resonates for you and let everything else go. But there's something that's indicating you're letting go. There's things that you know here or there's things that you pick up that you already know here. You know, the key to our mysteries is in the darkness. So if you don't go through the dark polarity, you do not get to the light. There is people here that are very snake. There's snakes around you here. It could be family and friends. There could be a married couple here or somebody here that's committed here that's causing a lot of problems and causing a lot of burdens and just leaving you with all the burdens and backstabbings and they're moving on and they're doing their things. But somebody is going to a high priestess or a psychic or somebody to find out about you here. They might be doing work on you here because they're obsessed here. Somebody's obsessed here. After they betrayed you, hurt you, and put so much shit on you, it's like they want to find out about you. And but I feel like somebody is very depressed. And I don't know why I'm picking up that sun card. A lot of family issues here. A lot of um, people surrounding you is the problem. So there could be a family here or friends or a circle of people that surround you that you can't get away from. You know, it could be family members. It could be sisters, brothers, even people you call family that is just a problem here. You need to move away from these people if they're causing you some type of problem because your happiness is like right there. But it's like a lot of things are happening around you, which is, is causing your happiness to be more like a depression than happy is what i'm trying to say here let me see the eight of pentacles why is the eight of pentacles here you're working hard here keep on working hard here for what you want because that's you want your stability you might meet somebody or you're trying to get to somebody or they're trying to get to you where working on your stability and your happiness needs to come first before you move forward to anybody here is what spirit is telling me you might have somebody here that's very, very, very burdened up or carries a lot of burdens. 
And if you are with somebody like this, either you need to let go because a lot of things going on here. Somebody got something on somebody here. The world card came in reverse. So whatever you're working on, you need to follow your intuition. You need to break the cycle of all these people here. And I feel like it's family and friends. Yeah, you're walking away from this. Or you're thinking about walking away from something here. There's family and friends here that don't want you to start a new beginning. There's people here or even a person that don't want you to start a new beginning. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want to see you happy here. What the fuck? Like, I can't stand people anymore. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, but you are going to move forward. Okay? You are going to bring your own blessings. You are going to do what you need to do. And there's a family here. So, yeah. I'm picking up a family. And there's a family card there. With the king of wands. So, there must be a woman or a man that's very controlling here. That it's what they say. Or the highway. It could be a family member. It could be a mother. It could be a dad. It could be anything. But there's somebody here that's willing to put up a fight for you as well. For some of you cancers. And they don't stop. It's like, I feel like somebody here... Wanted a new beginning or you had a new beginning with somebody and everything fall, fell into pieces. But there is something coming in here for you. Which is a ten of pentacles. You might just be in a relationship and having trouble and there's a rocky road. If there's no mental or physical abuse, try to fix your, your thing. But there's a snake around you. I feel like there's a friend here. Oh, hold on. Page of Wands. There's a friend here. Yeah, the Two of Cups. So you are committed or you were committed or there's something going on here with somebody here. Yeah, the the Queen of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck with the Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back. This could be you, Cancer, but somebody's holding back here. A money. Somebody's not trying to help you when you need help. Whoever here is... There's somebody here that is supposed to help you, but they don't help you. It's like you try to you try to find your way no matter what by yourself. And this is probably why I'm seeing so much depression here and so much snakes around you here. There is a karmic relationship here. But let's see. Why are the two of cups there? For cancer. There's two people here that love each other or did at some point. But somebody here messed up severely let me see where that went so it came in reverse so somebody here doesn't want to change this is the death card in reverse this person wants no changes it's like they probably promised you many times or things have happened where you've had conversations or whatever and they want to change or they said they're going to change and everything's the same old bullshit here. But somebody really cares about somebody here. But there is a connection here that somebody's not changing. They're working from old patterns. They're doing shit they're not supposed to be. This is a karmic. You and this person don't belong together, whoever this is. And if you do, there's going to be problems and problems and problems. They're carrying too many burdens. The Ten of Wands here for Cancer. Somebody's world is flipped upside down. There's going to be a... There's going to be... There's, they're stopping somebody from having a new beginning here. Spirit is stopping somebody from having a new beginning here. You need to start doing for yourself and bring your own blessings. If you see a white bird with a long beak, orange... Or a black bird with like some yellow around it and a yellow beak. That is a confirmation for you. I'm seeing with mind's eye. So just, I don't know. That's a confirmation with somebody here. But there's somebody who doesn't want you to move on. It's like they don't want you to start a new beginning with somebody else. And this could be a problem with that you've been having with a person for a very long time. Where you're trying to start a new beginning. Trying to be happy. Trying to start new with somebody here. And it's like they don't let you. They interrupt you. They get in the way. There's fights and arguments. Or there's he, she, she, say, he, she, she, say, whatever the fuck. I can't say it right now. He, she, she, say. And it's like, I don't know, but I feel like there's an in and out situation here with somebody here. And somebody's trying to move forward and they can't. Because somebody's always interrupting here. It's like they don't let you move on. Somebody's obsessed here. Ten of Wands here. Morning star. Let me see. The Ten of Wands here for Cancer Minera. Yeah, somebody's trying to come back here and offer you something here. They're burdened up. It's like, 
they're burdened up. I feel like this person is really in love with you. I know some of you don't like to hear this. This could be the past. could be somebody new. But there's somebody here that's in love with you here. Or you've been crying a lot here. And you want a new beginning. You're tired of all the drama. You're tired of all the bullshit. You're tired of... It's like almost like if you want to get out <clears throat> and start a new beginning to get away from all the bullshit. It doesn't mean you're going to get out there and not love somebody how you're supposed to love them. But you're trying to find your way, a way out here. Follow your intuition. The high priest is here. The high priest is here. Follow your intuition. Yeah, somebody could, comes in and causes problems whenever they want here. You could be dealing here with an Aquarius, a Gemini, another Gemini, um, Virgo, Leo, my bad, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, again, Sagittarius, Virgo, and more Gemini here. Aries, let me see. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Cancer? Karma. So somebody's receiving karma right now. For some of you Cancers, some of you Cancers are getting karma. And it's about to be over with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's about to be over and it's going to push you to a new level here. It doesn't mean that you did something crazy to somebody. It, listen, all of us go through karma. At some moment in time, we go through karma for whatever I could have screamed at somebody that an old person to get out of my way in a car and that's going to cause me karma because I'm not supposed to be screaming at an old person just because I want to get through when they're in the middle of the way. You know, what I mean? it's an example. So somebody here is about to end a karma and move to a different level here. But there's also somebody here receiving karma and they're going through it really, really bad here. It's like they came and fucked up your life. They don't want you to move forward. They see you with somebody and they cause problems. And then they want to come in and say, okay, I want to go back. I want to be with you, whatever it is. But it's like when they come in, it's like they cause you problems. It's like it's a really fucked up situation is what Spirit is telling me. They're receiving karma as well. You might just be getting good karma right now. Let me see. Why is that karma card here with the Ten of Swords? Who is this? Mineira. Yeah. This is somebody that likes to fight. That likes to put up a fight for everything. But so do you. Like, you like to put up a fight with everything. And you will not stop until you get what you want, Cancer, here. You're working very hard here. And you might just be getting out. Yeah. You're getting out of some type of karma right now. Spirit is confirming it. You're getting out of some type of karma. There's something destined better for you here. Listen, sometimes when we make the wrong choices and spirit tells us no, 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 and we don't follow our intuition, they put us through karma, okay? But somebody's hitting karma here and they're fighting their mind, they're fighting themselves. They don't know what to do. It's like, they don't know what to do. It's like, they cannot move forward. Whatever new beginning they start, it fucks up for them because of what they did here. Whatever they did here, but there is snakes here, man. There's a lot of people. Look, the seven of swords. You can't trust somebody here. If you're gonna move forward, move forward by yourself. Don't take nobody with you. If you're gonna do something, don't tell nobody what you're doing. If you're planning something, don't tell people what you're planning because you got a lot of envious and jealous people here, including family members. And I'm gonna say mother, father, sisters, brothers, they're they're envious, and that's hard to say to a person because we trust, you know, we tend to, you know, our mothers, our fathers, you know, my parents passed away, but I didn't have a good mother. I'll tell you that much. So I know what it is to not have a mother that supports you and just envies you for the shit that you do or the gift that you were born with. And I see people surrounding you here that you always have to fight, 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 and fight. It's like you're always having to fight for your beliefs, for what you want, or for whatever it is against a bunch of people here. That's why they're all snakes. This is why they're all snakes. You can't trust nobody here, Cancer. And if you have people that you could trust, just don't tell people your business. Because I don't even trust my own shadow. You feel me? You see all those shadows there? When I turn off the light, they're all gone. Let me see. Seven of Swords here. Where'd it go? Somebody's hiding their tracks here very well. They don't want to be seen. Yeah, a person that causes a lot of problems, a lot of fights, a lot of drama around your energy here. 
yeah you know go out do your your own thing you might just be going out for the holidays whatever it is but don't trust somebody here when it comes to friends and family or a person you can't trust people here even a person that you're dealing with you know the ace of swords here truth and clarity and yes somebody here is thinking long and hard about what to do here just follow your intuition but the high priestess there high priestess Mineira. give me something else for cancer yeah, there's somebody here that's super obsessed with you. They fucking betrayed you. Like, who is obsessed with somebody and wants to be with somebody and they love somebody and they say they're going to change, but then they fucking, like, they fucking betray you. It's like they backstab you. They're a traitor. They're not to be trusted here. They've caused a lot of depression here. But at the end of the day, you keep moving forward. But there's something blocking you here for some of you can't from moving forward to a new beginning because this person's getting in the way. For some of you, yes, you're moving forward. You met somebody here. <clears throat> and somebody's coming in with an offer here. And it might be here, you know, in a place you go to chill, whatever it is for you. Or you're going to meet somebody and it's going to become something else. But there's not trustable people around you, Cancer, for some of you. Let me see what else here with the high priestess. I am so sick. I don't even know how the hell I got sick. I was breaking fevers yesterday doing tarot here. The high priestess Minera. This came in reverse. Yeah, they don't want you to manifest. If something's going wrong for you, they don't want you to manifest here. Somebody's not thinking right here. Somebody's thinking very, very evil here is what I'm picking up here. Somebody's also not following their intuition here. This is why I kept on saying follow your intuition. Somebody needs to follow their intuition here. And forget about their ego and forget about what people have done to you. Because when anger comes in, I can understand it because I go through that. Trust me, I go through that. Sometimes I don't follow my intuition. I just go and by my anger and my ego and my thoughts and what I need to say and what I need to do. But it always ends up fucked up because it ends up the same way. I don't fix nothing. But somebody here doesn't want to manifest. Just somebody here doesn't want you to manifest a relationship moving forward. They don't want you to meet people. They don't want you to be around anybody. There's a lot of people here. They might just have something on you here that they want to bring out to the public. But there's a lot of things that are being said here that are lies here. It could be truth said, but they're they're like making up stories, more stories. What were you dealing with here, this person? It's a karmic. They don't want to let go, or somebody doesn't want to let go here. It's like a lot of turmoil, turmoil around this person here. You got to put boundaries down on the table here with everybody. Spirit is saying with everybody. Mm -mm. The magician reversed the high priest. Somebody's doing magic here. Somebody's doing spells here. And it's going to go back, right back to them. It's going to flip over right back to them and hit them right in their ass with karma. Yeah. <clears throat> the high priest. I can't make shit up. Somebody's doing um, witchcraft here. So you don't move forward. So you don't get abundance. So you don't get stability. So you can lose your money. Everything that has to do with your stability, somebody is fucking it up here with witchcraft. And I feel like for some of you, you've been picking this up and you just don't know what it is. The world call is in reverse. My gypsy's here. You're trying to work on something here to start something new here. And this could be somebody here you're dealing with or somebody that they're dealing with. This could be somebody they met and they're dealing with, like a little somebody that came in here. That's dealing with somebody's ex here or somebody's family member here or friend is doing some witchcraft here to fuck you up. Look at the shadow side in the bottom of the deck. They scared of their own selves, but I feel like this person is so fucked up. Look at this. 222, 2222 in the bottom of the deck, which is not supposed to be there. Aquarius energy. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius. You have Aquarius in your chart. This is not supposed to be flipped over. So it came out for a reason. Okay, look up those numbers. Let's see what's here for um cancer. Mineta, what's here for cancer? What else?
What else here for Cancer? Give me one more. Let's see. Money, abundance, stability. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to get money, abundance, stability, but you need to like stop these people or stop hanging around with people here that don't give a fuck. If you know they don't give a fuck, don't hang around with them. And if it's your family, childhood trauma. So somebody here has family issues where it's causing a lot of depression for you because you've been suffering from childhood traumas here your whole life. I'm telling you, the family here is all fucked up. I feel like they do themselves before even trying to do anybody here. They're flipping all over, all over the place. Let me see. Yeah, when they flip all over the place, it's there's a lot of things going on here. Give me one more. Caution. That was the last card that came out. Childhood traumas again. Like, I don't know. There's something going on here with the family. I'm just picking it up so... Yeah, and this could be family and friends gathering up together. And you got the seven of swords here. Somebody that just smiles in your face and fucking backstabs you in the back. You can't trust somebody here in your family or in your circle or whatever it is for you. They're going to hit karma soon. Very bad. But there is karma here. Circling around somebody here. Mm-mm. Let me see. I always get what I want. Master manipulator. There it is. They master manipulate everybody, not only you. It's like they always get what they want, but that's going to come to an end because karma's hitting up. Um, karma's going up their ass is what I'm going to say like that. Yeah, they're, they're playing with witchcraft here, and they're going to a high priestess or a high priest. It doesn't matter what it is. I got someone pregnant or I got, um, or I got pregnant. You might know who this person is, this person. So somebody might have gotten pregnant here. By somebody you know or somebody that you don't want somebody to get pregnant here. Caution came out. Or caution just flew out. So be caution. Because something is telling me that it might have not been in your situation. I feel like it's somebody that you know got pregnant by somebody that you don't like or something like that. It could be uh, one of your children. It could be somebody, a sister. A I was going to say a brother. Maybe a brother got somebody pregnant here. But somebody here most definitely got somebody pregnant here. Or they pregnant and ha having a baby from somebody else here. Or somebody here going to get pregnant. It don't matter how it came out. I wrote this card in different ways. Caution here. Kind of caution here with people. Look, this one was hiding. Let's see what it is. I'm trying to forget you. It's not working. I miss you. Yeah, they miss you, but they're doing witchcraft. They miss you, but they fuck everything up. Or you're missing somebody here. And that's why you ain't moving forward to start a new beginning with somebody here. However it is for you, you can flip the rules. Somebody is using spirit for their advantage. I cannot make shit up. <laughs> Somebody is using, look at the card. I cannot make shit up. Somebody is using spirit for their advantage. Consequences will be worse than anyone else's. We will put them on a pedestal. When they least expect it, we will let them drop. Big warning. So there is witchcraft here. They're using spirit for their advantage. You cannot go and do witchcraft, bad witchcraft to anybody. I know how to do it. I am I'm taught since I was little how to do bad witchcraft, good witchcraft, <clears throat> all type of witchcraft. I was born with a gift, but I was born born in a religion that does this. But I don't do bad witchcraft. I will never do bad witchcraft. So somebody here is using spirit, and it's a big warning for somebody here. <clears throat> they keep on using spirit for their own shit consequences will be worse. Th this person, you know, spirit sometimes, or even deities, Lohoricha, they put somebody on a pedestal and they make them think they're doing good, everything is good, you know, you're meeting new people, you're getting money, you're doing this, everything's going good, and boom, they drop you. They drop you really hard on the ground and everything's just getting fucked up here for somebody here using uh spirit. So somebody's doing spells here, that's why they're getting karma. So if somebody's been doing spells here for any type of reason, I don't care what reason it is, they're going to get karma. There is witchcraft here. I can't make shit up. Somebody wants a high priest or a high priest. Mm -mm. Controlling your mind and with their thoughts. Remove the energy. Block it. It will diminish your control. So somebody's trying to control even your thoughts. So you might be getting depressions out of nowhere. And if you're a person that you've never suffered from depression 
or you never um, see these things, have never had this um, issue, and it just comes, and you're like, what the fuck? And it's, it's or you're thinking a lot of crazy things or negative things or, you know, it's just like you're thinking things that you've never thought about before. They keep on calling me. I'm sorry. Um, it's, they're trying to control your thoughts. Block it. Block it. There's ways of blocking it. Diminish their control. You might need to you might need to have um things removed here and the work done here. Somebody's sex is ill and deadly. They want to hurt you. So somebody here has an STD and they're not telling somebody here. Or some type of um sexual trend. Yeah, an STD. Somebody has some type of um something and they're not telling nobody here. And they're going around sleeping with people and not saying shit. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. This could be first, middle, last initial for you, this person, whoever I'm picking up on. Or whoever you... Oh my bad. I didn't even... I don't know what I just said. But this could be your first uh, metal last initial for you. Whoever you're um, thinking about. It could even be nicknames. Let's see. What comes out for you? So you got an O here. You got a G. You got an S here. You got a T. You got a Q here. You got an H. You got a D. You got an R. You got good letters. You got an I that could also be an H, but this is a straight I. You got an A. You got another G here. Okay, so I'm going to flip that one. You got another I here, which could be an H too, but this is a straight I. You got a T here. That's double T already. And you got a U that could also be an N, okay? So I'm going to flip this G right here that came doubled up. This T that's doubled up. And what else is doubled up? The I. Let's see what I can get you. So you got a B. You got an F. And you got a W. Okay? So I love you. I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.